Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to make a or how to do spreadsheet. Before we get started, there's a couple side notes that I'd like to make. First, if you want to follow along with me this tutorial, uh, go to uh, www.libreoffice.org, click on download and download yourself a free copy of LibreOffice so you could follow along. Also, I did not do this uh, tutorial except with some help by watching uh, others who have YouTube videos and learning from them, such as uh, this person, GCFL, I don't know what that is, GCFL, GCF Learn Free. And then we also have free tutorials and motion training, which uh, his tutorials are very excellent. And his tutorials are one that I take from and follow the most. So if you have any difficulty in understanding what I have said, if I didn't explain anything correctly or properly or so forth, go to uh, one of these, type, the, go to YouTube, type in one of these names, and go to their channel and benefit from what they have. Okay, let's look now at the um, the basic look and layout of Calc for our spreadsheet. If you look here up top, we have some letters A, B, C, D, and so forth. And going down... On the left side, we have one, two, three, four. These are used where the uh, the letters and the numbers intersect are used to define a cell. Now, a cell is a block where the letter and the number intersect. So, for example, this cell right here is A1. You see that it's uh, it's mentioned here. If I select another cell, like this one, you see that it's in row C, and there you go, line uh, 3, so this is C3. Okay, now we're going to get started. It, to enter text inside of a cell, you just need to select the cell like this, where you see the uh, highlighted, the cell having this bold black uh, text surrounding it or uh, line surrounding it. And then we're going to type in here, Fina's Science Fiction Book. And comics. Okay. Now, there's some mistakes here. Now, if I want to correct those mistakes, uh, there's a couple things I can do. I could erase the text by pressing Escape, and the text is gone. All right, as you can see, and we could retype that in. There we go. Now that we've typed that in, we want to uh, go to the cell below it, meaning A2, because now we're in A1. As you can see, the, uh, A is in blue, and 1 is in blue, so we're in uh, cell A1. We want to go to cell A2 to, uh, to enter in uh, other information. But if, like for example, before we go there, if you want to edit this text, just press F2, like so, and you can go back using the back arrow key, or go forward using the forward arrow key, and edit that text. 
because if you don't press F2, what is going to happen is, um, like for example, let's enter some text here. Right now we have some text in there. If we were to go back, what happens? We lose the ability to edit that cell. So if you want to edit, you have to press F2. Okay, now we're going to finish filling out this title, author. Now I'm going to use tab to go to the next cell, price. tab copy sold tab and profit okay now I press enter when I press enter it goes back it goes to the uh, the next cell underneath from where I started or initiated the tab function of course I should have initiated it here so we're just going to press the back arrow key and we're going to start to entering the names of some titles of books so uh, first The Awakening tab now if you notice that some of this there's a little there's a run on going over where this where this um, title the text runs over to the cell that comes after it. We're going to learn how to fix that. And it's quite simple. But first, it's entering uh, our uh, information or our data. Okay, LA Banks, tab, price, $6.95 cents. Copy sold twenty three or twenty five. Okay, now we press enter and we go back to the next <clears throat> to the title. The next one minion tab. Now because the author is the same, you notice that there's an auto fill fill in uh, that happens. So if I want to type in LA Banks again, instead of having to type out the whole thing, Calc recognizes that this might be the uh, or a text that has previously been written, so it auto fills that in, and all we have to do is press tab, and we're done. Price six. Point nine five. Thirty five copies. Press enter. No one K. No one M K. Press tab. Okay, and author Milton Davis. Tab price fifty three now since we're going to enter same author's name, there we go, and we sold now I'm going to uh pause this video or edit this video so you don't have to uh, watch as I type in all of this information
Okay. So now that we've entered our title, author, and price, now if you notice here, for uh, Star Wars, I have the price at 25 cents. And these two are for 25 cents. Because the price is the same, I didn't want to have to manually enter in the, uh, the price here. So how do we tell it that we want to just copy 25 cents? Well, here we go. We go like this, highlight both 25 cents to show that, you know, we want repetition. And then we scroll down like that. And there you go. We have <coughs> for all of the entries for Star Wars, uh, 25 cents. Okay. Now, there were some runovers, some text that run over to other cells, but once we typed information in the in the cell after it the uh the text in the cell before it disappears and you're left with this red arrow and this red arrow meaning that there's text remaining there's there's text hidden here so all of these red arrows here and here and here meaning that there is text that are not apparent and that need to be shown so there's a couple ways we can do this. We can go in between the, uh, the A and the B row here. And you see that the, uh, the arrow changes into a two-way arrow. And we can click and drag like this. Just click and drag until There's no more red arrow. There you go. And also for here, we can do the same thing. Click and drag, and there you go. So that's one way we can do that. Let's undo. Okay. Undo again. Another way we can do that is simply go in between both cells until we see the two-way uh, arrow and double click and calc would automatically resize the cell so that all of the text in each cell in each cell is shown also we could do that here too as well double click and there you go that's it for now in the uh, next tutorial we'll talk about formatting uh, this spreadsheet but before we go, this is one last thing. You, of course, have to save your work. So to save it, you can, for the first time, you can click on the save, uh, which looks like a floppy disk here. Save icon. Click on that. And this comes up. So what we want to do here, we want to create a folder now. There's can't see the there it is we want to create a folder we're going to name this folder uh, spreadsheet tutorials okay and enter now we want to uh, name the spreadsheet here You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name mine's book list. There you go. Now, if you look down here, it says all formats. You can change the format that you want to save the uh, spreadsheet file in. The default, of course, is... Uh, ODF open document format spreadsheet or I'm sorry ODS open document spreadsheet and we're gonna keep it like that but uh, later on we're gonna talk about saving it in for example Microsoft Excel we're gonna talk about that uh, next time so we're going to save 
And there you go. And we'll continue the tutorial next time. Thank you for viewing. Subscribe and thumbs up. And see you next time. Bye.